Hello everyone, Eric Hall with the Blaze of Glory. There's nothing like trying to do a video out here in the bla blazing sun. <laughs> Maybe that's our blaze. I'm standing here at Reese Creek, the property boundary or you know, boundary marker at uh, uh, between Yellowstone National Park and the Gallatin National Forest. That tall mountain in the background is Electric Peak. Now there's several reasons why I like this place. Uh, one, you don't have to choose between whether you're in the National Park or National Forest because you're standing right on the property line. Uh, uh, Reese Creek, you, know, you have to hike up in here about a mile before you get to pine trees. Uh, and of course there's sage all around and it's as tall as I am. Uh, another thing about Reese Creek is that mountain electric peak, well that's heavy loads, you know, electric loads. Uh, another thing is across the Yellowstone River, which is that way, uh, sometimes you'll see livestock. It's one of the few places I've been where I have pine and sage and animals. Granted, you have to walk up a little bit behind me here to get to the pine. Uh, there's something else that stood out to me about this creek. Reese Creek. Uh, Forest Finn was stationed at Reese Air Force Base. And here's Reese Creek. Uh, if you believe that any of the you know, locations in nor northern Yellowstone that would be the warm waters halt to, uh, and be that boiling river, or, uh, the caldera and coming down the Yellowstone River, or, or if you go by the home of Brown as being Ranger Brown's cabin or Prospector Brown's cabin, you come through Gardiner and the Yellowstone River. So it was a place that I thought was intriguing last year. So I came out here this year and I'm doing this report live on location. Uh, now I still don't, I really don't believe the treasure's up here. I have other places in mind, but it was something I considered greatly last year and you know, you may find it interesting even now. Bye.